What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Michael Knapp Fishing. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Go hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. We'll have a Tackle Warehouse gift card coming up at some point in the videos. We give them away from time to time, and you all can go buy whatever you want on my dime. So today's video, um, last week I did a video on um, swim bait heads, and uh, as soon as I did it, I was talking to one of my buddies about it, and he was like, hey, man, how do you actually... How do you actually use that thing? How do you actually thread that bait on? So that's what we're going to get into today. I really hope you all can't hear that plane over me because that plane has been going absolutely berserk and it's starting to irritate me. Anyway, we're going to roll that intro and we're going to dive into it. All right, guys, so screw lock swim bait heads. Uh, I know when I first got started um, swim bait fishing, uh, I would just, I would take my swim bait, I would go ahead and rig it, and then I would literally just shove that thing up on there as far as I could, and I would usually just super glue right around the head. I didn't realize that there was actually a rhyme and reason to it on how to do this. Um, I didn't know that until a couple years ago. And I, I just, I felt like an idiot because I thought, oh, well, everybody probably knows that. Well, now talking to a couple of my buddies and friends that are starting to get into swim bait fishing, they didn't know that either. So maybe it isn't that all that uncommon. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm actually gonna show you guys how to properly rig a swim bait onto a screw lock head. Um, yes, this is a larger swim bait than usual. Um, you know, like I said, I was using the four inch, but I've now got the five and a half inch out. I just wanted to be able to show you all and kind of be able to see it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is, uh, we're, we're just going to kind of walk through this together and kind of show you the way that I rig up my swim bait with a screw lock like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up just where about, I think that bait's going to come out at that way. I know when to start bringing it through the back. So we're gonna go straight through the nose, you know, just, just like any other bait that you do. And you're gonna bring it down as far as you need to. Now, once it comes out, okay. Actually, I went a little too far. All right, I've now got it out. So now what you do is you actually thread this thing on just like you would any other bait by turning it. And I never knew this, that you could actually turn this bait like that around the hook point and it would actually screw in there perfectly. Look at that. It is now screwed in there flawlessly to where it's not coming off. I never knew that. Um, I Actually, I didn't rig that perfectly i rigged it a little too far in because i got in a hurry but i never knew that you could do that with a screw lock swim bait head i was i was blown away by that because I, I you know screw locks i mean some of my shaky heads and stuff like that but they're always outside of it so you screw it on then you put the hook in i've never done it with a swim bait before so that was just mind blown uh absolutely insane uh to think about that but i wanted to be able to show you guys that because a lot of people didn't know about it so they kind of, uh, they, they tend to stay away from screw lock swim bait heads. Um, uh, and, and I don't, I don't, I don't want anybody to be like, I don't know how to use that. So I'm just not going to buy it. So that's the easiest way to do it. You just, you literally just spin it around the, the hook point here. So one other thing, one other tip or secret, I don't know what I'm going to show you, uh, what we're going to call it. You see how my, my swim bait isn't really on there good because it's kind of distorted because I shoved the hook in too far. So one secret, I, I don't normally show a whole lot of people this. If you'll grab your hook like this and then grab the weight up here and you can actually just pull that up just a little bit, you can actually rip that rubber or the plastic just a little bit and it'll start to straighten it out because it's already hooked in there with the screw lock so well 
that it's not going to matter if it rips a little bit down here. So I'm actually going to do it one more time and just kind of just like that number there. And you can see it's actually starting to straighten itself out now. It looks a lot better that way. Um, it, and you know, I always want to try and be perfect. Every time that I put my, my swim bait hook in there, I always want to try and be perfect, but it's going to happen. You know, accidents are going to happen. You're not going to be able to get it perfect every single time. So that's one way that you're able to actually redo the job without having to completely take the bait off. And you probably ruined the bait already because you've got the screw lock in. And that's the thing with these, these screw lock hooks. Once that thing's in there, it's not going to come off easily, but once it does come off, it's not going to stay on easily because essentially what it's done is it's a corkscrew. It's gone in, it's hooked in there now. And then when, if that fish were to grab a hold of it and rip that bait off, it just pulled all the guts out of the center of your swim bait of the nose here. So it's no longer going to have anything to bite into. So, you know, you can, you can bite off like the, the top half of an inch. You can bite it off. Actually, you probably need to bite off more like an inch of it and you can redo it, but then you're losing the overall length of the bait. Um, so that's, that's completely up to you all. Um, it doesn't really bother me a whole lot. Um, so I'm, I'm going to rig it one more time for you guys, but I also want you to see how hard it, like, look at how hard I'm pulling on it. There, she finally came off. I mean, it, it, ta it takes quite a bit of pressure to get that thing off. So what we're going to do is I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. Uh, I'm going to rig it up again, but on a different bait this time. So you see, I took off like the top, that was about half of an inch. I totally missed and that stuck to the side of my garage. That's going to go over real well, <laughs> but, um, all right. So last time we're going to rig this up, Just put it right through wherever you want it to come through at. And obviously guys, this is a really small bait. Now you're going to push it up to the screws. And then you're gonna start spinning it and bring it around that hook point every time. Spin it. You see how as I'm spinning it up here, that tail just kind of spins with it and it goes around that hook. I'm gonna spin it one more time. Let that tail come across. Now look at that. It's on there perfectly. It's nice and snug up there. It's not gonna come out easily. Perfect. That, that's one reason why I like the screw lock swim bait heads so much because it does lock on there really well and I don't have to use super glue if I don't want to. Now, if I, if I want it to stay on there a lot longer, yeah, I'll put a little bit of super glue on it, but the screw lock itself does a fabulous job at keeping that swim bait up. Guys, if you like these tips and tricks videos, please do me a favor, hit that like button and go down there, comment, tell me what y'all like. If you want to know anything else, any other techniques, tips, tricks, just anything and everything, just shoot it at me. Let me know. Um, we're going to start hopefully getting out on the water some more and actually getting the GoPros to film for us. Um, I think I have come up with a solution to get them to stop overheating. So we're going to give that a whirl for Friday's videos. If you'll remember, uh, for those of you who are new, Tuesdays are always tips, tricks on the boat stuff that we're not actually on the water for. Fridays are on the water uh catching, fishing, doing something on the water. Um, I've kind of gotten away from that the last few weeks because of camera issues, but uh, we're gonna try and get back to that real soon if I can get these cameras to work. So uh, hit that like button, hit that comment button, uh, subscribe, turn on the notifications. to let you know when Tackle Warehouse gift cards are gonna be available and uh, take care guys.